to see you guys. I don't get much company. You're the only one small enough to fit inside. We can't stay long. We have to get ready for Nedley's dinner party. Oh, did you get an invitation too? We sure did. And we've got to get back home to decide what hats we should wear. I've already done my nails and trimmed my whiskers. That's right. You don't have to worry about a hat. Yours doesn't come off, does it? <sighs> no. And I want to look especially nice for Nedley's dinner party. Oh, what's the big deal? We go to dinner all the time with Maggie, Hamilton, and the Beast. Oh, I know, and Hamilton is such a wonderful chef, but Nedley sent out formal invitations. They're very fancy. I just want to make a good impression. Okay, we better get going. We'll see you at Nedley's place. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very refreshing. I'm all clean for Nedley's dinner party. I'll put your spots back on in a minute. I hope they're clean. Of course. I have to look my best for Nedley's dinner party. I've had plenty of dinner parties, but I never thought of sending formal invitations. Well, maybe you should remember to do that the next time. I wonder if Nedley has silver in China. I'm sure he has, or he would have asked to borrow yours. I would have been only too happy to help him with the menu, but I guess he didn't need any help. Hmm, it's almost dry. I hope so. You wouldn't want to wear a wet sweater to a formal dinner party. Here, Beast. These are all clean and ironed for you. <laughs> Thank you, Hamilton. How do I look? Fine, Beast. Fine. I'm getting very hungry. What do you suppose Nedley is going to serve? I haven't the slightest idea. He certainly didn't check with me. Oh, Maggie. You look beautiful. Yes, you do, Maggie. Thank you both. My mother let me borrow her hat, shoes, and bag. I wanted to look especially nice for Nedley's dinner party. Oh. Will someone please tell me why there's so much fuss about Nedley's dinner party? I guess it's because of the formal invitations he sent out. I hope he has something good to eat. I'm getting very hungry. I just had a thought. Don't you think we should bring a gift? What? Honestly, Maggie, that is ridiculous. Nobody brought gifts to my dinner parties. But you didn't send out formal invitations. Hmm. I'm absolutely certain. We should bring a gift. Maggie, can the three of us bring one gift? Definitely. Hamilton, do you have any ideas? Well, it's too late for one of my special cakes, but then Nedley doesn't seem to need any help from me. Hmm. How about a bouquet of flowers? Good idea. Let's go find some. Oh, brother. Okay, now that's it. We've made our decisions. Our hats look fine. Right. But before we head out to Nedley's place, I have a suggestion. What now? Yeah, what now? Let's just go. Boy, this dinner party better be good. It took us all morning to decide on our hats. Now, wait a minute. This is a formal dinner party with invitations. I think we should bring a gift. A gift? What could we possibly bring? 
Well, the only thing I can think of is... Well, why don't we stop off at the Kindly Giant's Garden and get a lovely strawberry for dessert? That's a great idea, and it's on our way! I'll bring along a piece of ribbon so we can tie a bow on it. <laughs> Hello, Nedley. Oh, hi, everybody. I'm really a mess. Sorry I didn't have time to dress. These are for you, Nedley. <gasps> Thank you. This is very sweet. Later tonight, I'll have flowers to eat. Hello. Hello there. Now, hiya. <laughs> Hello. I'm impressed. Really, I am. Tomorrow, I'll make some strawberry jam. Nedley, when are we going to eat? I'm very hungry. As soon as Rudy arrives, we'll eat. Now, everyone, please take a seat. Hi, everybody. Sorry I'm late, but I had to wrap this present for Nedley. Thank you, Rudy. Something stinks. Beast, don't say stinks. It isn't polite. Although I'll admit something does have an unpleasant smell. Something stinks. <laughs> the beast is correct, and me thinks that something is Rudy's package that stinks. Uh, I didn't want to come to a formal dinner without bringing a gift. It's a piece of Limburger cheese. Give it to me, and I will put it behind that grassy hill. Please hurry, Nedley. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Let go of your nose, Hamilton. <laughs> it's safe now. I'm sure you're all as hungry as a horse. There's lots of lettuce for the first course. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks for having us, Nedley. My pleasure. Goodbye. See you, Bye, Nedley. Bye, Nedley. Goodbye, Nedley. Goodbye, Nedley. Bye. Oh, Hamilton, I'm so hungry. Will you please fix us something to eat? No, please. Please? Anything so long as it isn't lettuce or carrots. How about some of those little pancakes with strawberries and cream? All right. Oh, there's just one thing. I won't have time to send you each a formal invitation. <laughs> <laughs> Costume? Yep. I have mine all ready. Hamilton won't tell me what he's going to be. Now, Beast, I thought it would be more fun to wait until just before we go trick-or-treating. Good idea, Hamilton. Only I don't have a costume yet. Really, Beast, I offered to help you and you refused. Why don't you want Hamilton to help you, Beast? <sighs> because he wanted me to get dressed up as a baby with a bonnet and everything. That is not fair. I had several other suggestions. Oh, sure. Maggie, do you believe he wanted to dress me up as Cupid? <laughs> Honestly, Hamilton, I don't think Beast would make a very good Cupid. Right. I am the ferocious Beast. I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. I just happened to have a bow and arrow and a large piece of pink fabric. What was your other idea? Don't tell her, Hamilton. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, tell me, Hamilton. Uh, ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> what? A ballerina. I'm going to make my own costume. Where are you going? Behind that hill. Why? To think. Aha! Uh -huh. Greetings, my friends. I am the Masked Bandito. You look great, Rudy. You certainly do. <laughs> do you really think so? I don't have much choice on account of my hat and boots don't come off. Hamilton! Yes, Beast? Could you please bring me two pie plates? Why? I need it for my costume. <sighs> oh, and Hamilton? Yes? Just throw the pie plates over the hill. I don't want you to see what I'm doing. 
All right, but you'd better hurry. We should go trick-or-treating before all the goodies are gone. I'd better get going. I'll probably bump into you later. Bye, Rudy. I mean, Mass Bandito. Bye, Rudy. I wonder what's taking him so long. I hope he finishes soon. Hamilton? Yes, Beast? I need my tennis racket. And may I please borrow yours, too? Why do you need two? I'm not telling. Oh. <sighs> Beast, will you please hurry? I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I need the feather duster. The feather duster? Why do you need the feather duster? Oh. <laughs> I'm ready, Maggie. Me too. <gasps> Hamilton, you look great. How did you ever make that egg? With a lot of paper mache. Do you really like it? Oh, I do. You look beautiful. A real angel. Get ready. Here I come. Uh, what are you supposed to be? Can't you guess? Maggie, what am I? I'm sorry, Beast. It's so simple. I'm a ferocious bug. Beast, now that I know what you are, I think you're a perfect ferocious bug. Let's go. It's trick or treat time. I'm tired. Whoa! <gasps> oh, me too. That was so much fun. Let's see what we've got. <sighs> Beast, can you help me out of this? Thanks, Beast. Look, I got a bag of gold coins. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they're chocolate! Oh, goody! I have coins, too! <gasps> I got them! I got an apple! I got a pear! I got a can of soup! A can of soup? Uh-huh! I got some candy pumpkins! Me, too! I got a box of crayons! I got a lollipop! Me, too! I got another lollipop! I got a jawbreaker! I got a piece of cheese! I got a carrot! Isn't this fun? Yes, and we still have lots of stuff! Look at this! I got one, too! Oh, gee, that's pretty, isn't it? I didn't get a watery melon candy! I'm going to eat mine. Mmm, look! It's a perfect little watermelon inside, too. Seeds and all. Mmm, delicious! Is it really good, Hamilton? Mm-hmm. I got peanuts and a piece of cheese. <sighs> What's wrong, Beast? Nothing. Don't you want to see what else you got? I will. Only I didn't get a watery melon. I wonder why I didn't get one. Whoever gave them out probably ran out of them. But they're so pretty. I do wish I had one. Dear Beast, take mine. <gasps> do you mean it, Maggie? Sure. Take it. Try it, Beast. It's really delicious. Oh, no. I'm going to save mine. Thank you, Maggie. You're welcome, Beast. Hmm. Hi, guys. Hi, Rudy. How did you make out? Oh, I went all over town and got all sorts of goodies. So did we. But there was one place I forgot to go. Where? Here. 
Trick or treat! Oh, I have just the thing! Oh, boy! It's cheddar! Mmm, thanks, Hamilton! This has been the best trick-or-treating day ever! It sure has! Yeah, the best ever! The trade-off! No, Beast, you aren't humming right. It's like this. <coughs> Not. <coughs> oh, well, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Gee, Hamilton, that does sound better. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello, Nedley. Oh, ow, that's a good one. <laughs> Ooh, what have you got there? This, my friend, is a wonderful toy. The yo-yo, you see, will always bring joy. Oh, you sure are good with that yo-yo, Nedley. Oh, I sure wish I had a yo-yo like that. If you had something good to trade, perhaps, indeed, a swap could be made. Oh, a trade. That sounds like fun. But then again... Maybe not. I do like to play with my yo-yo a lot. Please? Mm, okay. Yippee! Hmm. Oh, uh, what do you think I should trade for the yo-yo beast? I don't know, Hamilton. <gasps> I have a brand new egg beater I could trade. A what? <laughs> Now, to trade this for an egg beater would really be wrong. If it's okay with you, I'll be moving along. No, wait, Deadly. I'm sure I can find something to trade for the yo-yo. Uh... Oh? <gasps> I have this shiny new nickel. The nickel is nice, but it just won't do. But I might consider that nifty kazoo. Oh, no! Not my kazoo! Uh, I might need it later. Yes! You never know when it will come in handy. Round the world it goes, and where it stops, <laughs> nobody knows! Uh, okay! Oh, no, Hamilton! That's a kazoo you're trading him. You never know when you might need a kazoo. Thanks, Nedley. It's a trade. <gasps> oh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Where did you get the neat yo-yo, Hamilton? Hamilton traded his kazoo for Nedley's yo-yo. Oh, but you never know when you'll need a kazoo. Can you do any yo-yo tricks, Hamilton? Mm-hmm. First, I'll do an around the world with a double flip backspin. <laughs> Uh, uh, just getting the speed right. <laughs> Whoa! Uh. Oh, no! Oh. Hamilton! Hmm. Thank you. This is just no good. I have to get my kazoo back. I told you not to trade your kazoo away. Natalie! Can 
I have my kazoo back? Why? Uh, your yo-yo was, uh, defective. I take offense to the words you've just spoken. The yo-yo I gave you wasn't the least bit broken. Well, um, oh, well, yes, I mean, I guess I did break it. We sealed the trade in the Beast's plain sight. Tell me, Beast, am I wrong or right? I'm sorry, Hamilton. Nedley's right. It was a fair deal. <sighs> Nedley, is there anything we can do to get the kazoo back? Well, if you really want, a deal could be made. I suppose we could do another trade. <gasps> really, Nedley? Sure. Another trade for what, Nedley? Well, it'll have to be something great. So figure it out. I can wait. Come on, Hamilton. Let's go search your box for something Nedley might like. No. No. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody wants one of these. Got one. <laughs> Oh, Maggie, what am I going to do now? <laughs> hmm. I know. Oh, Nedley! I got something for you! <gasps> what is it? What is it? Oh, what could it be? Oh, please, won't you show it to me? <gasps> The scrumptious aroma of carrot cake is a masterful treat only Hamilton could bake. Hmm, let me see. What could you trade for a whole carrot cake? <laughs> ah, yes! What a great idea! How about a kazoo? An ode to the carrot. What a wonderful root! More succulent by far than a kazoo you can toot. <laughs> well, you were both right. You never know when you'll need a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> 